Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho Thigh Duck here back with another video. And if you guys don't know me, I'm just a guy who does YouTube for fun. And in this video, I wanted to do a kind of a specific video. So in the comment section on one of my last videos, a subscriber asked me to make a video on how to download Mugen characters. So I normally do a lot of Mugen videos and I have a really big Mugen roster and it gets bigger all the time, I'm sure you guys have noticed in the videos. So you guys want to know how to download the characters. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So it's pretty simple. Um, the first thing you're going to need is WinRAR. Um, you need to uncompress the zip files that come in, so you need WinRAR. It is free to download. Um, all you need to do is go to WinRAR.com here. So all you need to do is go to WinRAR.com. Download WinRAR. Um, it shouldn't take too extremely long. It, it is the type of application that you have to pay for. So eventually you'll have to buy it. Um, I still haven't had to buy it yet. So um, you do need to sign up and do everything. Basically you run through all the steps here. Um, but you're downloading it. Then you can take it, drag it to your desktop. Um, open it up, do the whole installer and everything. I obviously already have it, so I'm not going to do all that. But uh, once you have it, it should look like this here. Um, and then, to get all the characters, you need to go to the MuganArchive.com. Um, this is where I download all my characters. So, once you get to the website here, it'll ask you to make, a, to make an account. So, go ahead and do that. And then you basically have access to whatever's on the website. You can only download so many times a day, um, but it is a decent amount of downloads that you get. And you should have a Mugen pack already that has um, a decent amount of characters in it. So you can come over here. So let's just download a random character. You have all types of stuff you can pick from. Um, let's just do Bleach. So. I use JUS Mugen, so I'm going to try to find one that matches my style of Mugen here. Okay, we're going to download Nell here. So I'm not sure if she is the same as uh, my Mugen, if she's a JUS Mugen, but we'll be able to find out once we have her in. It does say she doesn't have an AI detected right here, and this is pretty important if you want to watch your Mugen play against each other and not play them yourselves. Um, they do need an AI, an AI detected inside of them. So, this one doesn't have it, but I'm just going to download just for um, the sake of the video. So, once you have it there, I always take the file and drag it to my desktop. You can close this down. So, once you have the file on your desktop, it should show up as the same as your WinRAR folder. Because that's because WinRAR is going to open the file up. So, double click on the file. Um, it's going to say, you know, please purchase WinRAR. You can just close out of that. You don't need to buy WinRAR. Okay, and then you take the file here, whatever extracts it, take the file and add it to your desktop. You can close this out now. So now you have the file here. Um, sometimes you'll need to click and open the file again and there will be another file to take out. But usually um, it's just a one-time thing. So you have the file, now we're going to open up our Mugen game. So I'm assuming that you guys already have um, a Mugen compilation downloaded and you're just trying to download extra characters. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do a video where I show you guys how to download Mugen. So first we need to come over to our characters file here and open it up. So this will contain all the characters that we have inside of our Mugen pack here. So what we do is we take the extracted file here First things first, we need to click rename and we need to copy that. Um, we just need this exact lettering right here. So then once we're done with that, we take it and we move it into characters file. Done. And then we come back out and then you come down to your data file. And there should be a folder in here that says select. Click on that. Then this is the hard copy data of all the characters that you have placed in there. So since we added a new character in, we need to add the character in here as well so that it will pop up in our menu. So right down here at the bottom is where we add our new characters in. So we just copy that and paste that 
replace it and then we file save so make sure you save that guys that's very important exit out of it exit out of this restart our Mugen and our character should be in there so once we start up the game it'll take a couple of seconds to load up here guys but our character should be in there and you can do this as many times as you want until basically your roster is full I believe you only get about 15 downloads a day with um, the Mugen Archive unless you upgrade, which I believe might cost money. Okay guys, so here we are in the game. So now we go into our characters and as you can see down here at the bottom, so all these characters here are extra characters that I have added in myself. So you do know it does work. And here is Nell herself that we added in. So we'll go ahead and just start up a quick match with her. And just to show you guys that it does work. Um, so she's not a JUS Mugen. Um, I'm not sure if there is a way to tell when you're on the website um, what type of Mugen it is besides just looking at the sprite for it. Um, but this is a perfect opportunity since this is uh, not the right type of Mugen to show you guys how to delete the Mugens from your pack as well. So you do want to get whatever Mugen um, style you're playing because otherwise the characters just aren't compatible with each other. Um, they can still be used, um, but they just aren't going to proficiently fight each other. So so now that we have a character in there that we don't want anymore, we're going to go ahead and close down our Mugen. And now we have just the files for our Mugen game open. So we're going to go back into our characters file. We're going to find that Nell, wherever she is, it should be in the N. So we'll scroll all the way down. There she was. So we'll take the file and we'll just pull it right out of there. And then we'll go back. We'll click on the data file. Go to select again. And then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom where you added it in. Select it. Hit backspace. And save. And then you can just replace that with another character of your choosing. So, And then she should be out of there. And then just take the file. See you later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful for you guys. This was a video suggested by subscribers. So if you guys have any more suggestions, I'm definitely happy to try out anything you guys want. So if this video helped you out, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And this was your boy Psycho Thigh Duck signing out. I'll see you guys later.